Webflow pricing can be a little bit confusing and I actually get a bunch of questions about what plan should I use, which is the right one for me. So in this video, we're going to cover that. what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly. Usually I share a quick tutorial here, but recently I just got a bunch of emails regarding which plan should I choose and people are actually getting confused about Webflow's pricing. So I want to discuss this in this video to clarify. I mean, I wish it wasn't that complicated and it is a little bit complicated. And the reason for that is that Webflow charges you for two different things. So there's, uh, they're actually charging you for using their software, which is called account plan. And they're also acting as a hosting company for the website that you've built. And so you might on top of your account, also pay for a hosting. You, you might actually pay for several hosting. So at the end of the month, you might get a bunch of invoices um, and receipts from Webflow, which can be a little bit confusing. And it's true that I don't know many um, actually companies that work that way, but it is what they chose. And I still think it's worth uh, you know <laughs> the confusion to sort this out. So let's talk about what are the differences. Let's start with account plans, which is basically what you use to um, use the software and build websites using Webflow. So let me, I'm just going to open it up on their website, their pricing page, and uh, actually start here with the account plan. So as you can see, there are three plans and the first one is free. So you can get started using Webflow if you just want to learn it, if you just want to experiment to see if that's the right thing for you, you can get started and actually build two websites on your account for free. That's great. Where does it limit you? For the the first thing is you can't export the code. So if you want to take it and host it somewhere else, you can't do this on the free plan. The second thing is that you can't transfer the website to somebody else. And basically, I guess the reason that they they structure it this way is that you won't be able that you the the point of the free plan is to experiment and see if Webflow is right for you. But if you actually want to use the code by either exporting the code or um, you know transferring the website to somebody else who has a pro account, then, you know, you should probably pay for that. And the, the bigger plans are just allowing you to have these features of exporting code and transferring website. And the, the main difference between the light and the pro, I think is just, yeah, it's just how many websites you can, uh, you know, how many websites you can have on your account and if you can password protect them. So basically, and, and okay, now let's talk about what is the hosting. So the hosting is when you've finished designing a website and building it, if you want to connect it to a domain and keep it hosted on Webflow and use their CMS, then you pay per website a hosting plan. And that's based, based on whether it's just a static website or a CMS website or an e-commerce, there's a different pricing for each. Now, here's how I usually work and how I sort this thing out. So basically for me, I use the, um, I just have a bunch of websites and a lot of them. So I'm on the pro plan. However, every time that I work on a client website at the end of the, uh, when I finish designing the website, I actually transfer the website to my clients. Basically Webflow does have client billing, which means that you can um, take your client's card and pay for the hosting or actually let them pay for their own hosting while you keep the website on your account. But I don't like doing this. I like to transfer my website to them. So they are the owners of their own website. So basically what I do is I open my clients a free Webflow account so they don't have to pay for an account um, with Webflow. I then transfer the website to them. So now they have a whole website on their free account. And then I set up hosting um, plan on their account. So basically my clients pay for the hosting plan. I pay for the account plan. This is basically how I set things on my end, except for a few websites that I own for like my own, you know, personal website and the Webflow Masterclass website, which are hosted on websites. So I pay the hosting for them. But basically if we would just let's say working on client work, I would basically, you know, have my own web uh, account and then I transfer the websites to them. So I don't have to pay the hosting for their websites. 
Now, for a lot of people who are beginners or might be tight on a budget and are asking me, can I get started on the free plan? Do I have to pay the account plan? What I usually say is, you know, of course, I think that if you're heavily invested in this, then you should definitely, you know, go with the pro plan for yourself so that you can, you know, do everything, export the code and, and do whatever you need to do and have a bunch of websites. Um, but if you, I think, if you're just getting started and if you're stretched on the budget, I mean, I think that you can get started on the free uh, account, build your client's website, see if they like this, if they're willing to pay for this um, and host it, then you can just then upgrade your account to either transfer it to them or host it and use the client billing for them or export the code or whatever you need. Um, and if then you don't end up keep using Webflow, you know, you can downgrade your your account or something like that so i think you can try and stay on the kind of a lower expenses if you want to again i host a lot of websites and i'm a, a really big believer and so and i also take advantage of when you pay yearly then you get a discount so um, for me that works well but as i said you can get started on the lower end um, and progress as you need i hope that was helpful in clarifying the difference between the account and which one might be a good fit for you. If not, let me know in the comments below your questions and I'll try to answer all the questions in the comments and I'll see you next week.